All right, so let's see what's going on with this year's Halloween celebration on Global. Um, I'm expecting possibly a few surprises, but uh, we'll find out together. Okay, so here we go. It's called Maximum Thrills Halloween Campaign, a special event, a new special event, and a new Extreme Z area related to Halloween are here. Don't miss out on the Extreme Z Awakenings for Candy Vegito and Super Saiyan Go Tanks and Ghost. On top of that, login bonus, special missions, and also Dragon Stones available every day. Okay. Um, it didn't say anything about a Dokkan Festival, but we did get the ticket in the data download that expires, you know, on the 12th of November, which means that we should get a Dokkan Festival for the celebration. Like, it should be a thing. Anyways, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's see what's going on here. We got login bonus, of course. We got special missions, Dragonstone sale. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Uh, well, first of all, Cooler and, and Bardock are two of the best TURs in the game, so I'm not upset about that. It's just that it's not it's not a new Dokkan. Wow. Man, I was so convinced that was going to be a new Dokkan Fest unit, and it looks like this Halloween Dokkan Festival is going to be some, some kind of a special, you know, banner, a Dokkan Festival banner, of course, but with, you know, existing um, Dokkan Fest units, so we got Cooler, we got Bardock, I'm sure there's gonna be other, you know, TURs on there like Namek Goku or, um, you know, whatever it may be, a bunch of other guys, Beerus maybe, uh, maybe Int, yo, maybe Int Future Gohan. If Int Future Gohan is featured on this banner, that would make up for the fact that we don't have a new unit, but still, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Has this ever happened in the history of this game, I can't remember, I can't recall honestly, have we ever received a banner like this um, outside of like the download celebration, right? But that's a different case, like download celebrations are always like, you know, the download banners are always like this, where it's existing, you know, Dokkan Fest units. So um, yeah, this is, I think this is unprecedented. I think this is new. I mean, I guess it's okay for people like me, it's gonna be easier to save up for you know, the uh, Dual Dokkan Fest in November, as well as the LR Blue Boys and LR Jiren. But uh, there you go, guys. That is the Halloween Dokkan Festival. I know some people predicted this. I didn't think it was going to be like this because, like I said, I don't think we've ever had something like this before. But um, there you go. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. I'm still a little bit shook, not going to lie. But there it is. It starts on the 21st, which is tonight. Or actually today, like right now. Oh no, actually at reset. At reset, so in, in a couple hours. And then we also have the Halloween Token Festival Summon Ticket. There is a Halloween pack for this ticket. I heard that um, there were also going to be tickets available through missions. So maybe we'll check out the missions in a second and see if that's true. But uh, let's see. We also have the Elder Kai banner. We have the new Halloween event with the uh, STR uh, GT pen as well as Grandpa Gohan. Extreme Z area for... Uh, the Ghost Tanks, as well as the Candy Vegito. Bunch of Dokkan events coming back. Uh, Int Future, ooh, okay, so we got Cooler. We know he's on the banner. We got this Vegeta, man. He's gonna be featured on this banner, isn't he? That sucks. <laughs> I really hope I don't pull more of him. I might just not summon on the banner altogether, to be honest, man. I don't think I am, because Cooler's rainbowed, he's rainbowed. He's one dupe away. I do want him really bad, but hopefully he'll be available in the Bob Shop. I can just buy him with coins. And then, uh, yeah, Namek Goku, we have uh, 13, as well as Bardock. So I'm pretty sure these are going to be the featured SSRs on the banner, which is not bad at all. Like, these are some of the best TURs in the game. Like, you know, even the 13 is phenomenal. I think he's very underrated. So, um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good banner, just no new unit. Once again, let me know in the comments how you feel about that. And uh, from there, we have the return of a bunch of events. The uh, Halloween events from two years ago, or this one's two years ago, this one's last year, or no, uh, this one's three years ago, this one's from two years ago, and this one's from last year, so the three Halloween events from before. We also have the 8-bit um, or retro Goku and Vegeta event coming back from April Fool's, I believe, two years ago, and uh, we also have last year's uh, April, or this year's wrap. Yeah, it was this year, yeah. No, this year's April Fool's Bulma event coming back too. So if you guys missed them from, uh, you know, the 
previous Halloween or April Fool celebrations, they can farm them now. And uh, we also have double rank EXP, so for people who are low rank, you can farm your rank a little bit. Um, it's still obviously not going to be nearly as good as 3 times or even 4 times, but if you're really low rank, then you should still be able to rank up quite a few times with this double rank EXP. And oh! Thank you! Oh my god, finally! Yo, Super17 getting his Extreme Z Awakening on Global on the 28th, so in a week from now. Um, the return of traditional Extreme Z Awakenings, finally, man. Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakenings. So Extreme Z Battle for Super 17. Amazing, amazing EZA, man. I, I can't wait for this. I cannot wait for this. He is um, such a good tank who also hits pretty damn hard. And uh, he's going to be an amazing addition to the Androids theme, which is already really freaking tanky. And, you know, just hits, um, does a lot of damage too, so... Uh, yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm, I'm very happy about this. A little bit thrown off by the, you know, Dokkan Fest with no new Dokkan Fest units. Like, I did think it was going to be Angel Gold and Frieza. I thought it was going to be weird to have him, like, come so early to Global, but I thought there was a possibility. And, yeah, it's, it's, um, it, it's not that, but, uh, you know, I'm very happy about the fact that we're finally getting another Extreme Z battle. Man, it's been so long. The last one we got on Global was... I think for the Int Trunks, man. I think Int Trunks was actually our last Extreme Z battle. So, uh, Super 17 coming, that's amazing. We got his uh, EZA packs, of course, in the Baba Shop, or rather, uh, Pilaf's Trove. And then we have the Dragon Ball Seekers, Category Summon, and what else? Return of the uh, Beerus, as well as Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Extreme Z battle events, and the uh, Goku and Vegeta. Or sorry, uh, Goku and Gohan and Vegeta and Trunks, Extreme Z area, Dokkan events coming back, Beerus, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and Super 17, and also story events coming back. Um, Tournament of Power one here, we got the G Giru one, and also some Android Saga, or Cell Saga um, story events. And also another World Tournament, I called this one. Okay, I called this one, if you guys didn't watch the video from a couple days ago, I said, this is pure speculation, but we're super overdue for this one, so it's it's probably going to happen. 34th World Tournament with not the 17, which I, I'm pretty sure we're still missing on Global. I'm pretty sure we're still missing that one on Global, but it's going to be the BoJack Movie Trunks, as well as the LR Demon King Piccolo as the local reward replacing the Yamcha, okay? And uh, what else do we have here? Just a bunch of random stuff here. Um... The Guaranteed SSR Banner, uh, the World Tournament Support Packs from Pilaf's Trove, which obviously I don't recommend anybody to buy. And also the Adventure of Gratitude and a Bizarre Rabbit Mob events coming back too. So, uh, yeah, looking like a pretty solid celebration overall, man. New Extreme Z Battle, um, just no new summonable unit, but a pretty solid uh, Dokkan Fest Banner nonetheless with the return of, uh, or hopefully, the return of the Int's Future Gohan, or sorry, Trunks. No, uh, Gohan. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> what is wrong with me right now? No, it's because we were talking about the Trunks EZA before, so I got it all mixed up in my mind. But um, yeah, Int Future Gohan coming back for the first time in nine months on Global. And uh, New World Tournament, of course. Uh, really solid. When is the World Tournament starting, actually? Let me see. Uh, World Tournament is starting on the 29th. Okay, so in about eight days from now. And after that, let's check out the special missions. So someone told me there are tickets. Yeah, you can get okay. You can get seven Halloween tickets in uh, your missions, and there's also also going to be part two missions on the 28th. And uh, it looks like in part one we can get one, uh, one, two, three. Right? I think we can get three tickets in part one, unless I miscounted. And I'm guessing the remaining four will be in part two. And then for the login bonus, can we get any tickets at login bonus? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, just one stone across the board. So 17 stones in total, some training items, medals, all that stuff. Nothing too crazy. But uh, that's it, guys. That is the Halloween celebration for this year. Honestly, I, I, I'm more excited for this one than the worldwide celebration or at least you know um knowing what the worldwide celebration gave us this this actually looks a little bit better 
not gonna lie. It's really sad, but I mean, maybe I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but uh, the Worldwide Celebration was pretty bad, and this one looks pretty good. So uh, there you go, guys. Look forward to all the new events coming. Super 17 Easy Yay World Tournament. Uh, if you guys are missing a bunch of those Dokkan Fest units on the upcoming Dokkan Fest, uh, Halloween Dokkan Fest banner, then it's actually not probably not gonna be too bad value for some, some people. And um, oh yeah, so after the celebration on the 12th, is when the thank you celebration is gonna start with the dual Dokkan Fest between the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks as well as the Boo, uh, the exchange Boo. Okay, so uh, yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to. That is today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.